Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to install Zabbix on a Docker platform. If still you, do, you don't want to use Docker, or you are not familiar with Docker platform, I have made an OBF image just for you. You can download it from the comments below, from the description below the video, and upload it to your data store in your ESXi environment and just start the server and use the Zabbix server up and running okay so we have four images that we will use for install the Zabbix server it's Zabbix web nginx it's Zabbix server mysql and Zabbix java gateway and mysql container we will run one by one the commands that i will show you now Okay, and then we'll, we will start use Zabbix. So, for now, what we need to do? For my SQL, I choose this password. I choose this password. For just an example, this is my password, this is my password hash. When you will install in your environment, I will suggest to go to this website and I generate your password for example I will put my password that I choose my password is password and I don't I don't don't suggest to use this type of password and click generate password and this is my hash password so you need to put every section will there will where you see my SQL my SQL password you put this your password and your hash okay this is your password that you choose this is your hash that you're giving in here so now we will starting to run the commands one by one okay now start a new mysql container i will run this command And we're done. Now I will run this command. It's not very important you to know what is command, um, what all these command are meant, mean. But uh, we only in this process, in this video, want to run Zabbix without any problems, without any issues, and without any head cache. Okay. This is what the channel is for. Open source for dummies. Okay, we're done. Now we go to this command. Done. Now we go on this command. And we are done. So if we run docker ps, sorry, yeah, it's, it's happening all the time, you will see that all of our containers is in up state. If you will see in your environment restarting or exiting status, please write a comment and I will help you. Okay so now i will run ip address and this is my lab internet face I, I think if you have a production on test environment esxi you will have or ens 1182 or eth0 something like this and this is my ip address of the machine i will go to my browser and enter to the Zabbix. Okay, the password is admin with capital A. The password is Zabbix. Okay, so now we will see all of our environment. This is my Zabbix, you see, Zabbix Docker. That's it. This is the one part. Okay, you see how it's very simple, very easy. It 
took to us about five minutes, something like this. Okay, and now we will configure the Zabbix agent. This is the very most important thing of the part. I will go to my test machine, the second machine that I will monitor. Okay, so the Zabbix agent RPM is also attached in the URL that I put in the video description. You can download it from there and install it. In my environment, I put it in opt. Okay, I already installed it, but I show you how to install it. I do rpm minus i and tab the Zabbix agent rpm. Okay, this is to tell me that it already installed it. Okay, you will. If you do, uh, don't install it already, you will see only this one. So the Zabbix agent is started and running. We can check its status of system of putting this command system control status Zabbix tab agent service. Okay, the agent service is dead. It's okay. So now we will config the agent we will do vi if you know vi is vim or not familiar with the linux notepad this very 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 familiar very popular notepad okay we do vi etc zabbix tab zabbix agent dot tab c tab conf this is where the zabbix agent config is settings Sitting okay, enter and then we will see all the settings. All of this is not matter for you, okay. You will need only three parameters one is this one. This here you put your Zabbix server IP. You see, this is the Zabbix agent IP, and then if we scroll down and we see this field of server active you put here also your zabbix agent edge uh, sorry your zabbix server ip and the last one this one very important the host name if you will not put your correct host name machine it, it it will not work so for the instance this test machine this is his host name okay test srb then we do that wq for quit and save okay if we do host name this is one host name okay so you need to put exact to the field of hostman exactly your host name name that's it and now we will start the zabbix agent Okay, and we will enable it for the next reboot. It will be starting automatically. And we will do status. Status. Okay, so we now see it will running. Okay, now we finish it to configure the agent. Now we will, we will go back to the Zabbix server and we need to add this agent manually we will go to configuration hosts create host and the host name you see test srv like the machine host name if you will not put the right name it will not work remember that groups it's a linux machine i suggest you to ch to, to use always the right group so we will use Linux servers, okay, interfaces. We click add, we choose agent because we're monitoring with agent and we will put the agent IP address. For our IP address is our machine that we need to monitor. Okay, so I will put the IP address of my test machine. Okay, this was remembering my last session. 109 the port is 150 default and we click 
add okay I want to explain something many people think that because they don't see the, the Zabbix availability is in the green status it will not work no it's not right it will work only if you will put an items or a templates for this machine okay so we will go to test SRV we will go to templates and I want to choose template that is right for me so I put Linux because it's Linux machine and then we have a lot of templates default that goes with Zabbix and I will choose for now Linux by Zabbix agent and I will click update okay now these templates have CPU monitoring memory and stuff like this and if I will enter now for all oh, this template you will see what this template is giving to you you see it's giving to your system CPU it will give a new kernel and give a new, will give a new proc num it will give you to do a ping it will show you the system uptime it will see you show you the CPU load average I can show you the free swap space if you will use the swap space and other many things great things okay if you want to know if your agent is work correctly you can go to monitoring host go to my host that I already add and click with left click of the mouse and do a ping okay so now I know that my agent is working for you guys if you will see here an error or something like this that host not found you need to stop your firewall okay with this command system control stop firewall firewall d that's it okay and disable if the machine will be restarted the firewall will be disabled if you will not run this command the firewall still will be running and you will not know what is the issue again why the agent is not working correctly disable firewall d okay so you see we will waiting for about one minute or two minutes and we see the availability of Zabbix okay the last step we will use to see all the metrics that we collect from this server we for this is the purpose we want to build the dashboard and see what we're getting from our machine so we will go to dashboard this is the default by the dashboard you can disable it or you can edit for these items we will leave it for now so I will go to an edit dashboard I will click add I will click graph we will to see it in the graph okay you see this data set we need to choose our host that we want to monitor so we go to host group our host in Linux server group not Zabbix server group keep in mind that it's very important we will take in Linux server and click select we go to item pattern we choose our host that we want to monitor and we choose the pattern that we want to see in our graph so for example I want to see my load average I want to see my load on the CPU it's very important for me and I want to see my number of CPUs that I have on in the machine and I want to see system locum time system hype time total my memory total Zabbix agent ping is very important I want to see that ping is working that I have always connection to this server and I want to see number of process uh, I put select and add okay yeah 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 I forgot to choose my host okay now it's cool you see I see in the graph I click add and I will I, now I can see all my parameters you see test load average you see numbers of CPU I have one numbers of processes 909 processes is running system local time you see system uptime total memory I have 1.75 gig so I have exception ping one that's 
means that the Zabbix agent is running. Okay, you can put many graphs as you can for each of these items. Okay, and for last example, I will choose my host and I will choose CPU IO weight. Okay, and we will see. I cannot see here Hemikin because I don't have an IO weight. It's okay. So I will check another pattern that I can see something. So I will send. I will choose. I will choose. I will choose this one. Let's see if we can see something in here. Yes, you see. System interrupt time. I, I was having to hear some of peak and then fall down. Okay, and this all of my graph. And you can build what do you want. You can play with this. It's very, very flexible. Don't forget saving the change because it's happening that you don't save and your work goes to trash. Okay, guys, this is the part of installing Zabbix server on a Docker platform. In the next video I will show you how to install Grafana with Promptel and Loki. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. And if you will, if you was find out that is very helpful and important video was for you, subscribe my channel. Thank you very much guys.